Wow, it got really bright really fast. The sun just popped out from behind the clouds. Hello, sun. Good morning, sun. Good morning, starshine. The earth says hello. What? <clears throat> Good morning, Kevin. So today it's Monday, and today I'm getting on a bus and heading to Peoria for three days. Taking a video at the airport makes me feel like John Green. I got here 40 minutes early because it seemed like better than getting here a minute late. I'm that sort of person. I like to get places super early. There's a really loud bus. Ah, it's exciting. Here I am on the bus. First person here. I think it's like a four hour drive. So, ooh, maybe I'll get some like car ride shots. The bus driver just went to get coffee. Apparently I'm the only person on the bus from here, unless there are other walk-ons. I was actually a walk-on myself. But yeah, so I'm the only one on the bus. Private bus ride. Other, other people will probably get on at different stops. So Kevin, I'm going to monologue over the monotonous traffic montage. I'm recording this after getting back home. The two five-hour bus rides I took in the past three days got me thinking about a song called Any Bus by Burt Smith. He says, any bus can take me away, but only one bus can take me home. This got me asking, what does it mean if only one bus can take me to Bradley, and only one can take me back to Evergreen Park? Which one is my home? I struggled with this idea and decided that both are my homes. Now, the idea of two homes felt initially wrong. I've seen Godspell enough times that I thought about the whole, no one can serve two masters, either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. Looked at from a secular perspective, too, it sounds about right. You can't show the same devotion to two things or else you have to divide it. So one home must be my real home, right? But then I came to terms with the idea, reminding myself that there are different kinds of love and devotion. My love of the freedom and adventure I find at Bradley does not diminish my love for the security and familiarity of Evergreen Park, just as my love for my friends doesn't diminish my love for my family. I had this idea in my head that other people have just one home, so I should too. But I think I was wrong. In failing to imagine other people complexly, I tried to simplify my own self-apparent complexities and fit with the singularity I mistakenly saw in those around me. I invalidated my own experiences because I didn't think they were the norm. So yeah, there's no place like home. But which one? Man, it is good to stand up. I tell you what. <laughs> So we left Midway at 11.30, and it is about 4 o'clock. Just arrived. Quite a long bus ride. Worth it. Oh, it feels so great to be back. new somewhere i ain't been before i said oh no the bus is late again man i don't know where i'm going but i just can't wait to get there wherever i may go any bus can take me Waiting for my food